Rod's music, you really see the place from where Mahler jumped, where he took off into the stratosphere. And Mahler himself really acknowledged that and was very thankful to Rod. Everyone knows about uh, in Vienna about that, that incredible cooking pot um, that came together at the end of the 19th century. And it, it really is, I don't think, any surprise that two of these, that, that Rott and, and Wolf, really went mad. Mahler was really the only person who could deal with the energies that were circling at that time. And the idea of them all sitting together in a, in, in a, in a composer's class with Bruckner perhaps teaching them counterpoint is, is really extraordinary. And I wouldn't in any way like to say that Mahler copied Rod, but they are, they just come from the same world and the similarity is extraordinary. And of course you do hear this echoes of the shadow of Bruckner. You, you hear the, the organist, having played the organ myself, I almost feel the fingering on the instrument and the way of dealing with the instrument that then he orchestrated. And Bruckner of course said that, that Rod was his, his most talented pupil. Some of these early pieces, Rot never really intended to see the light of day. I mean, we've, we've taken from the sketches, and probably because of the interest of his story and his narrative, then we go back and try and find as much as possible of the music. And, and Mahler was completely convinced that, um, that Rot would have really changed the musical world as it so happens, as Mahler did after him. If we need any recommendation, then that recommendation comes from Mahler himself. Because Mahler writes so clearly how much he valued this person and how much he valued his music and what an influence it had on him. <laughs>